Shalom, sitting here on this Sunday afternoon, enjoying my day off. Um, got something I want to share with you. Um, you see a lot of people walking around with uh, cancer, Parkinson's disease, dementia, all other kind of diseases. And the medical field has, has found no real cure for them. They give you pill after pill to take, but only thing that pill does is prolong your agony. It does not do. It does not cure or remove the disease. I want you to listen very closely to what I'm telling you. You know the word of God does not change. What He instructed in Leviticus chapter eleven still stands for today. There are certain types of meat that he never intended for us to eat. And when we violate his instructions, then we reap the consequences of it. My personal opinion of what I've studied, a lot of diseases that we see in people's bodies could be eliminated if we would follow his dietary laws. Give you an example. Pork is not to be eaten. Pork is a scavenger. He never intended us to eat pork. Pork chop, sausage, pork bacon, fat back, you know, you name it. You know, he never intended for us to eat it. And um we consume that. There's a consequence or repercussion when you violate his commandments. I was telling Erica earlier today that this woman had dementia. I think I'm pronouncing that right. She was 85 years old and she went back and she changed her diet. She followed the the dietary laws of Leviticus chapter 11. And she was physically restored. When you walk in obedience to the Father's instructions, then you reap the benefits of that but when you violate his instructions you're going to reap the benefits of disobedience I'm not saying that to be harsh I'm not saying that to be mean because uh, you know you're not going to hear this on a sun you're not going to hear this Sunday morning from the, from the pulpit because most of you men that stand behind the pulpit on Sunday morning that's they going to cram their mouth full of pork after Sunday services but it's never too late to change. It's never too late to change. So I want to encourage you. Go to the book of Leviticus chapter 11. Find out what his dietary laws are. I've done this. Then repent for eating meat that he told us not to eat. And start abiding by his instructions. Start doing those things that are pleasing to him. And watch him bring forth a physical restoration in your body. Obedience to his instructions of how he wants you to live is the miracle drug. Be blessed and shalom.